Challenging the climate crisis is not just about survival of a few, but if we're not careful, it very well could be. Hi, I'm Hilary Moore, author of Burning Earth, Changing Europe, and this booklet is really driven by a dangerous contradiction, one where climate change and the environmental crisis are life and death struggles. And at the same time, these crises pose very real vulnerabilities for progressive organizing. And we're in a moment where there's so many young people galvanized and energized by these movements, and yet they still face varied political crossroads as newcomers. And the fact is that all of this is happening within an authoritarian landscape, increasingly so. And it's a fact that we can't ignore. So how does the racist right leverage this consistent popular concern about climate change? And what does that look like at the parliamentary level within Europe? And how is that reflected in the organizing of far-right, xenophobic, and even fascist movements at the ground level? These questions are not open. They have answers, and this booklet is an exploration of both. It's also a case for equipping environmental movements to wield climate justice and racial justice together by becoming more skilled at centering those who are most impacted and neutralizing hijack attempts from the racist right. I think this pandemic is reminding us that um, the economy is based in in life, you know, in the living world, in the web of life, um, and that we ignore that at our peril. As we know, um, care workers in um, nursing homes, in hospitals, in grocery stores, all you know, agricultural workers, that those are the people who need to actually control these systems and know best um, how to make them safe for themselves, for the land, and for the people that they're supposed to be serving. That's the root of this crisis, is that decisions are being made far from where the impacts are being felt. I think the crucial question of the, of the community economy, the pub public ownership or community ownership uh, that we will really definitely need to advance uh, in this time of, of crisis, because we also know that uh, how capitalism works and that crisis are time of even more concentration of, of capital. And, um, and I think if like being aware of uh, the power that, that also communities uh, have in, in, in shifting this question of ownership is, is, is crucial. At the core of it, or there's some aspect to it, I think the right is really good at organizing around dignity and belonging in ways that uh, white people are uh, ultimately kind of divorced from land or divorced from a kind of belonging that gives a purpose and a connectedness. And so if we're able to build the skills in our left and progressive movements of like, we can belong together in our different social locations because we are committed to something that's much bigger and much more compelling. In order to organize in a very concrete way and, and in a, I think, very productive way, we have to, in Germany at least, come to terms that migration is not some phenomena, you know, um, which we can sort of attack after we got rid of all the, the sort of important issues. Migration and the anti-racist struggle really is at the center of it all. You know, we always say, like, especially from you know, within the black movement also, who built the streets, migrant built the streets, so we are also the ones who should name the streets. And I think this is also true for sort of anti-fascist movements, especially, of course, anti-racist movements, but also anti-capitalist movements. We sort of have to put the perspectives of the people directly affected by exploitation, by racism, so on, in the center. We are all um, rooted in our local communities, in our national politics, and that 
the injustices that we're facing, we are starting at the local local level. But unless we move from that to some sort of international solidarity um, with other people in this in similar situations, our our politics, our policies will be very easy um, to dissipate. Climate change has to put internationalism at it at its center, and the whole idea of international solidarity. Things that I get excited about, things that I look forward to, are a progressive and left climate movement that can coordinate well with anti-racist and anti-colonial struggles. I feel like there's wisdom, there's experience, there's um, skills that are very complementary, and I would love to be part of conversations um, who are exploring what it is to have these pieces be a complementary whole. These movements are different responses taking care of different things to the same crisis.